So if we've got, um, if we've got, uh, oh, hang on. If we've got a third question, maybe three root two. Uh, in fact, let's make it a bit simpler for the moment. Let's just say one over root two. And we've got to rationalize the denominators. The number at the bottom is the denominator. Um, what you do is you always want to, you always want to take this bottom number and then if you multiply it by itself, if it's a third, but if, if it's a simple third like this, then, well, we know that root two times root two is two. So we would end up rationalizing the denominator. But we can't just multiply the, we can't just do that because then we'd be changing what the original expression was. So, but what we can do is multiply it by root two over root two because this fraction here is, of course, just one. So multiplying something by one won't affect it at all. So we then just look at the top, which is one times root two, and the bottom, which is root two times root two, and we get that. So this is the basics of how to rationalize a denominator if the, if the bottom is just like a simple third like this, or even if it was, uh, three, you know, the three root two, for example, some some root of something or other multiplied by a number that would still work. You wouldn't get the same answer, of course. So that'd be three times two, which would be six. But um, the same method would work. Now, when it gets a bit more complicated, is when you're going to get. Uh, let's keep it relatively simple, though. We'll, the next uh, sort of level up. Um, would be if you get a little bit more complicated type of third at the bottom. So we'll stay with one at the top again, and we'll say root two plus one. So I need to be able to multiply the bottom number by something at the bottom so as it, it would produce a number that which is not a third, because then it would be rational. And whatever number I put at the bottom of this fraction is going to be at the top again, because this num this thing that I'm multiplying it by will again be equal to one. So in the first case, all of that is just one, and I'm going to do something similar here. It's just going to be also equal to one, because the top bit is going to be the same as the bottom bit. So. Um, Use a little trick, and it's called the difference of two squares. I'm going to multiply it by root two minus one, which means I need to multiply it by root. I need to have my, root two minus one at the top as well. Now, um, if we, I'm going to demonstrate what the difference of two squares is all about. Imagine if I had something plus something, and then multiplied by something minus something, which is what I've got down here. Okay, so the a is root two and the b is one. Um, what I'd get is the you get the a multiplied by the a, which is a squared. You get b multiplied by a, which is so plus a b. And then you get a multiplied by negative root b, so that would be negative a b. Then you get the b multiplied by negative b, would be negative b squared. So we've got you can see that the a b cancel out. And you get a squared um, minus b squared. And the reason why it's called difference of two squares is because uh, whenever you're working at the difference of two numbers, you you take them away, and these are squares because you've squared them. So a, a squared and b squared, these are squares. You could say all square numbers. Uh, well, if it's that's why it's called difference of two squares. And when we square things, if we whatever we're squaring. Is going to uh, if it's a third, then we know it's going to produce a rational number. So let's do it. Let's imagine we didn't know that trick completely. We just knew that we've got to do that. Then at the top, we end up with the root two minus one. At the bottom, we've got root two plus one multiplied by root two minus one. Still end up with the same thing at the top. And at the bottom, we've got root 2 times root 2, which is 2. We've got 1 times root 2, which is root 2. 
We got root 2 times negative 1, which is minus root 2. And then we've got 1 times, 1 times negative 1, which is minus 1. So as you can see, you cancel out the root 2s, which is what we were hoping would happen. And then you've got 2 take away 1, which is just 1. And then you've got root 2 minus 1 divided by 1. So that just gives you root 2 minus 1. So 1 over root 2 plus 1 can be simplified to just root 2 minus 1. So this is how to simplify the thirds in, in the two different difficulties. If we look at these questions here then, in fact, there we go, we've got a very similar question to what I've just done there. We have to rationalise the denominator in question 2. Um, so I'll pause the video and we'll have a quick go at how we would do that and we're going to eventually hopefully get this uh, and then we have to say what is a and b okay so with this one because we've got a complicated third at the bottom we are going to use the difference of two squares trick so let's just write it out first so we've got six minus root eight over root two minus one remember with the with in all the cases I've looked at so far, whenever I've rationalised the denominator, I've always multiplied it by something, the same things at the top of the bottom, because then all this, this fraction is going to be equal to 1. The thing that I'm going to multiply it by is going to be essentially like the opposite of this. The root 2 stays the same, but then I add 1. Like So this is very similar to what I just did a second ago we had root 2 plus 1, and I did the opposite by doing root 2 minus 1. Not quite the opposite, but it's there probably is a word for it, but I'm not sure what the word is. Um, and I've got to do the same at the top. So I'll pause the video again and see if you can take over from there. Yeah. Okay, all right, I'm just going to... We've just nearly got to the end of this question. Let's just rub this bit out for the moment and summarise what we've done. <clears throat> so we've multiplied it by, like, the opposite... Um, and put it all together as one fraction. Then we uh, started to expand both the top and the bottom. And we saw that the bottom, uh, which is what we're hoping would become a rational number, we got the 2 minus root 2, then plus root 2. So those cancel out. And you end up with just 2 minus 1, which is just 1. Um, so now we, don't, we can ignore the bottom number now because it's just 1. Now this one here, we've got 6 root 2 plus 2, and then minus uh, root 4 times 2. That's the same thing as saying root... It's, well, it's the same thing as saying root 4 times root 2. And root 4 is just 2. So we could write that as 2 root 2. Um, and so we've got 6 root 2 minus 2 root 2, which is going to be 4 root 2. And then we've got the plus 2 as well. Uh, switching it around, we'd say that's going to be 2 plus 4, oops, uh, plus 4 root 2. So that would, so we can see that the A is the 2 and that the B is the 4. Okay.